Well, hello everyone. So it's the first time that I do something like this. You will see a lagging, apparently, because I'm seeing it in front of my face. Uh, fast forward of a little bit of the work that I did on that drawing. Actually, most of the end of the work of that drawing. It, uh, I started it actually with a piece of paper and yeah, uh, I, okay, I guess I have 15 minutes to go through this so I can probably see the story of it. Um, so I met this guy in last year uh, in March and I've been looking for, for a very long time for someone in particular, I guess, if I can say it that way, even if it sounds kind of weird, but I am kind of weird, so, so what? I uh, visualized for many years the man of my dreams, and um, when I met my boyfriend, uh, I felt like I felt like I found him. So after meeting him, I began drawing. Um, I began a drawing. Sorry, it's because I'm looking at what you're going to be seeing at the same time. And I feel like I don't have time to say the story. But I, if it's 15 minutes, I mean, I have time. So all right, I'm doing this. Um, so, almost right after meeting him, I started drawing uh, us, because, okay, backwards. I'm sorry, like really, I should have taken notes or something for this. I write a novel called Axis the End of Illusion and uh, it kind of also represents a lot of my fantasies and what I was visualizing and hoping for. Um, so I created this guy and he, you know, like the personality and the look and everything and I'm currently writing tome two of Axis. So in the second book, um, the two main characters are already together and I was at a scene where, excuse me, my telf cell phone, I was uh, writing a scene where both of my main characters make love in a crystal cave because they kind of find each other back and you know, when you love someone and you're alone somewhere beautiful and you haven't seen each other since very long, you, you tend to get very attracted. And um, so that's kind of the, the scene I was at in volume two. And um, I met, I met the guy. So, well, a very similar guy, I should say, because it's different than my main characters, but still, uh, it's very, uh, I'm going to say similar again. So I had this image in mind that I wanted to draw us in this crystal cave, but I didn't think I would be able to draw a crystal cave. Uh, so I just drew us on a piece of paper and um, the, the drawing is really cute but really simple it's mostly lines <laughs> that make up two characters that sort of look like us anime-ish well as you can see of the drawing of course um, and even though I didn't know what I was gonna do with it I scanned it in my computer and uh, I almost immediately started working on it in Photoshop. 
um, just the characters. I, I just made something really simple at first because I like I never drew crystals and stuff like that. I even when I started drawing the cave, I went on YouTube and I checked uh, I checked out videos on how to draw crystal and I, I learned a lot from from the video. I chose one that really represented well um, the image that I wanted to make well the cave I wanted to make so I had to learn how to make a crystal and do it over and over and over and over and over and actually how I got to the result that you have in front of your screen it's by doing steps like stages I don't know how to say it but I guess it's like any drawing uh, it's just that I never really took the time to get to that point where I make an almost perfect drawing because I know that I know that there are so many better artists art out there, um, but I've been doing it all my life still, and it's still something that I'm super passionate about, and that I will be doing all my life, and that I'm gonna be doing a lot more of. But I never took lessons, and I'm starting now, kind of, to take le lessons on YouTube and stuff like that. Um, like for the crystal cave example uh, I I'm learning with what I need so for example uh, I have to learn proportions uh, on figures uh, faces bodies hands feet I need to learn all of these details on how uh, how the the skeleton is so I can make it better I mean more realistic and more alive and believable so that's uh, yeah so I studied how to do crystals and but the draw I mean like the the people it wasn't something so complicated to do they're just facing each other and holding each other but if if it was an action scene I w probably would have checked out how to do it too um, to make it better and with the hands and all I I, I still had troubles with the hands. I should have maybe studied a little more of the hands, but it took me about like 90 hours to make this drawing in total. And I've been working on it since almost last year. I mean, a little less than a year. So on and off, of course, I didn't work on it every day or else it would have been way more than a hundred hours. But anyway, you know, you know what I mean? In total, I worked about that on the during yeah during that year this year 2017 uh well this year the that year I, I i just finished it in 2018 so like i said took me almost a year okay now um so i started do, doing it in photoshop and uh, and it was layers layers and layers and layers and that's how I got to the final point. It's by adding layers again and again and again and trial and error. Um, I, I'm so grateful for Photoshop that we can just go backwards without messing the whole thing up, the paper up. the Because paper, after a few times that you erase, I mean, first it leaves traces and it breaks. So, and yes, I do erase almost at that point level <laughs> because my technique and almost everything is more like trial and error so I really like Photoshop for that reason uh, there's about five minutes left so of course as you can see on the image I have a lot of layers uh, and I, I group them in in groups when I have to when I have many things on it and which happens all the time so putting your layers into groups is always helpful I don't always name my layers correctly I mostly just try to find the right one by clicking it viewable or not but that's going into details um, yeah so this is my last drawing 
I mean, my most recent drawing, not, not going to be my last, <laughs> way for, 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 far, very far from it. But uh, it's my most recent one, and it's the one I've taken longest to make, and it's the one I'm most proud about. And like, really, I'm so happy of the result. I don't know what to say. What to say more? I, I, I kind of really created. Yeah, kind of really. I kind of created the crystal cave I had in mind. Um, it would have been more see-through if if I would have worked my layers differently. Actually, I did or at the beginning, but at the end, I just blended everything together, and it w it would probably take me like ten more hours to do. Well, maybe not maybe five more hours to do what I would really uh, have in mind. Maybe I'll do it eventually, but for now, I mean, I t it took almost a year, so I'm very satisfied with the current result. And as many artists say, uh, and a piece of art and artwork is never really finished. No matter really what it is, uh, painting, a drawing, anything pretty much. I don't know about sculpture, I'd like to start doing some sculpture, but um, I guess I'll see there, but I, I writing, like I've written a novel, as I said at the beginning, that too, um, I've been working on it for a few years and I'm not done with it because I feel like there's still things to do, it's, it feels like it's never over. <sighs> at least drawings I have a little more self-confidence enough to be able to publish it even though I'd see tons of more things to do on it I'll take a little break of talking thank you for watching and listening I hope that you liked it I hope it was interesting and um there are some other artwork that I film myself at the same time. Um, but the thing is, when I do that, with um, I, I use QuickTime, and uh, I I need to put like the screen, like my face there, uh, in the bottom, and close a little bit my Photoshop page so we can see it through like the photoshop application i don't know how to say it but uh, you can kind of see on uh, on the page you're looking on right now there's some green on the side between the layers and the main image and that's my yeah okay you can kind of see also the other side on my folders um so yeah, it's my desktop. So I would have to close a little bit the the image where you see me working, and to to let my face uh, recording be seen and recorded with my screen. Anyway, I know it sounds complicated, and it it's not so complicated. It, I guess I'm saying it worse, but uh, yeah. So it kind of really reduces what you see, but at the same time, I, you see my face. So. I don't know. Uh, it's just a different, different way. And if you see my face, I'm probably talking too. Um, so it won't be like speed running through. I don't know. I haven't done it yet. Like I said, this is my first. Um, yeah. So again, thank you for listening. And there will be more. And they will probably get better. I guess. Because with practice comes perfect. Even though perfection does not exist, as we were saying, with working with artwork and whatever. So I will stop rambling right there. I was just trying to stretch a little bit my time, but I'm, I'm getting there. So have yourself a great day or a great evening. And um, I'll see you again. I mean... I don't know how to say it. <laughs> but anyway.
Bye now.